in this video i'll be walking you through step by step how you can restore your damaged images and if you're a graphic designer this is really going to help you out because you'll be able to restore damaged images that clients give to you and the best part is it's completely free and i mean completely free and i even did this with my mobile phone no photoshop no fancy editing softwares let's get into it so the first thing i are going to do is open chat gpt and then go to new chat make sure you're on new chat this refreshes the mind of chat gpt to do something completely different from your daily conversation and give it this prompt by uploading your image first so go to your gallery and then look for your image right so the image that you want to restore select it then upload it to chat gpt and type in this prompt give me a well structured and detailed prompt prompt no sorry prompt that would help that would restore this damaged photo then you put a full stop let's go to not now and then make sure you leave a space, right? It's very important because this helps ChatGPT to understand every single thing that you are typing to it instead of jamming everything, right? So make sure your punctuations are perfect like I'm doing. And add this. Note, the face and details of this image should not be tempered with. And then guys, there's one thing that I've learned which really helps me get ChatGPT to do what I want, right? Should not be tampered with and i'll add this little thing else i'll ship you back to russia i don't know for whatsoever reason adding this thing helps chat gpt give you detailed prompts this is something that i personally do so yeah, i mean you can also try it yourself so as you can see it has given me an ultra detailed photo restoration prompt right so what i'll do is i'll just copy the prompt it will give me alternative prompts as well but then i often like to pick the first one but i can pick or oh, and then test it out and see which one works for you but the first one often works so just copy the first prompt that well detailed prompt has given you copy it now don't let chat gpt generate your image for you go to this tool called google gemini google gemini this is i mean a master that gives i mean it's free charlie nah you won't get this anyway so with this side as well make sure you upload your image so go and look for your image where's the image let me let me scroll down so go and look for the image uh, okay i think this is it so look for the image select it right and then paste the prompt that chat gpt gave to you in here so you just click paste and then you're going to wait if your internet access is um i mean really fast it would load fast but then i don't know why my wi-fi is delaying today but then it will still come right and guys if you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe to motivate me to create more of such amazing tutorials it really helps me a lot so i'll just hit the send button and then it will take some time it will take some time to generate note but sometimes it wouldn't give you perfect results right but then it's up to you to know how to tweak it but trust me guys what this is going to do is really going to give you something cool so look at this so you know second you can see that it has cleared the image now we can actually see the face of the woman right and you can see some paper marks there so let's give it this prompt this wasn't perfect remove the cuts and tears from this image right so you can just give it something like that right and then you know second you can see that we'll remove all those paper tears and cuts maybe you don't have that but then whatever problem you have after chat gpt has given you that prompt it's left with you to just do my new tweaks to it right you have to just do my new tweaks to it so you know second you can see that now it has removed all those paper cuts and all those paper tears right with the woman's face still being well detailed right now you can take this from here to photoshop and color grade but then this is what i often want to do this image looks dull let's bring it to life by adding some vibrant colors and pop as it would look in real life right so when you give it this chat gpt itself is going to color grade it for you right 
and then i mean it would look decent but then after i'll show you what i do to make it stand out really well so after giving it this prompt it takes some time guys if you haven't subscribed please do to subscribe so yeah Let's just wait for some time. Okay. So now you can see that it has added pop. I mean, the dress has now gotten color. The woman has gotten color and all that. Right? But I personally want to add more touch. You can leave it this way, but then I'll just download it. And you can see that it has given you that small Google Gemini, this thing that we don't want it. So let's go and work on it. So I go into this app, Hypic. Right? But I can go into any photo editing app as well. But then I often use Hypic so you can download it. It's free as well. So the first thing I'll do is I'll go to Adjust. Because I want to remove that Gemini logo there, right? I don't want it to look AI generated. So yeah, even though AI did it. So let me go back to Google Gemini. So what I'll do is I'll just go and look for adjust down there and look for crop. So I'll look for crop and then I'll just crop that part out a bit, right? Even though we we'll take some parts of the woman out, but I mean, who wants to see her breast? <clears throat> no, who wants to see her other parts? Everybody wants to see her face, so yeah. And the next thing I'll do is I'll just play around with these color grading settings, right? So I'll play around with the exposure, things like the contrast, things. So basically, basically, in here, there's no structured format that I'll tell you maybe take exposure to 20 because I don't know how your image looks, right? But then you just play around with all these settings until your image looks, I mean, something decent. But then there's one touch that you always have to add to it. And then I'll be showing you very soon. So here I'm just adding some curves to it. As you can see me do, I'm just adding some curves. And then in Hypic, one um, very nice thing about this app is it has presets, right? Already made presets that you can just be applying on it and then see which one works best for you. I'll go for this brighten. Okay. And then I'll just come and add a bit of texture to it. The texture is very important because sometimes ChatGPT will make it so smooth, right? So you need to add that texture to make it look realistic. I mean, no photographer will shoot. A very smooth photo so yeah and i'll just play around with the hsl and then yeah basically those are the things that i do there but this is one thing you need, always need to do quick adjust this is ai going to adjust your photo again and guys trust me see the results that this would give you it's mind blowing you just i'll just show you the before and after this is mind blowing so as you can see guys this is the result this is the result you can now see how the image is now popping as if it's something I was shot in 2026, even though we are not there yet. Now, the last thing I do is just add some filter to it. So you just go to filter and then look for any random filter that would suit the mood or the vibe you are going for. So yeah, that's basically how to bring your images back to life. It is, if this video helped you, please do all to subscribe. I mean, don't be ungrateful. That's not me saying that. Peace and I'm out.